Thank you. I just hope my voice holds that because I've got flu. Um, Commissioner, due to the failure of my own government to visit Calais to see at first hand the extent of the migrant crisis, last week I visited and became the only British politician to be granted direct access to the Mayor's office. Yet my government offers £12 million of British taxpayers' money to the socialist Hollande. This money will go straight into the black hole deficit of Monsieur Hollande's failed government, not to the migrant front line of Calais. The Deputy Mayor, Philippe Mignonnet, said he wasn't very impressed with David Cameron's kind offer of ex-NATO barriers. He really doesn't know what to do with them. Monsieur Mignonnet and I had a meeting of minds, and I've invited him to have lunch with UKIP's Stuart Wheeler. And who knows, we may have the next defection to UKIP. So could the Commissioner tell me what practical measures this place has planned to clean up Calais, to deport the migrants back to their countries of origin, to stop them crossing Europe and halt the pernicious trade in human trafficking, which directly contributes $15.5 billion a year to the terrorist funds? Of course, the free movement of people is the biggest problem. Um, thank you, Mr. Mrs. Atkinson. Um, I share your concerns, uh, Ms. Atkinson, clearly. So you want to know what we do about trafficking, about smugglers, about all those who gain from the situation and who, in a flagrant manner, exploit human dignity and human lives. Now, I don't know about uh, the amount that you mentioned. It could be more or less. But I hope you agree with me that the value of human life is not an issue of uh, a price or another price. But let me say something more. The basic condition to combat smuggling is more cooperation among the uh, competent services in all member states. And this is, there's the rub. How can we avoid that uh, the need for such cooperation becomes unhelpful because it is too heavy? So we have to find the golden mean between respecting fundamental rights and the efficient functioning of law enforcement. Because we all agree but that this is a major one of the major threats we have to face. Yes, what you saw in Calais is something that all people guarding borders face in Calais, from Italy to France, sorry, sorry, from Italy to Greece, from Italy to Malta, etc. So we have to intensify cooperation to deal with this unacceptable situation. And I think that Europol has already made positive steps in this direction.